The other focus must be on the human capital development and responding to the needs, the requirements, the capabilities, and the general terms of service of the men and women who are charged with this sector. It will go all the way to what we are discussing about the salaries, allowances, housing, transport, and many of the other aspects that are necessary for making sure that we get the best output out of the men and women who serve in this sector. We have started the journey with the first uh, installment of uh, um, salary reviews. We will be looking at the other allowances that come with it. And we will also be looking at career progression so that there is a career progression pathway that has always been a challenge. You know, an officer, we were uh, given the example of an officer that is hired and for 20 years they are stuck in the same um, job group. That going forward is not going to be the case. There must be a clear career pathway so that everybody who joins the service has clarity on where they want to go and they can work hard towards it to make sure that uh, that career progression, continuous training is part of the um, available pathways for the people joining either the prison service or the national youth service or our police service. 